Hey everyone, my name is Trevor, and we're gonna be talking about a proven study plan that you can use to pass just about any technology certification quick. If you're watching this, you probably know that IT certifications are one of the best ways that you can move your career forward in technology. However, if you're like me, you like to learn, but you hate to study. So I have developed a study plan just kind of organically over the last decade or so. I've taken, I counted today, more than 30 different certification exams since I was 19 years old. And I wanted to share my study plan with you all. It's one that has served me really well. And most importantly, it reduces the amount of time that I actually spend studying. So that way I can do the things that are important to me, like hang out with my dog or play my saxophone or just chill and not stay up late into the night worrying about some certification exam. I hope this helps somebody use their time a little bit more efficiently. Let's get right into it. So just to give you a, a feel for the fact that I kind of know what I'm talking about here, uh, here are my current certifications that I've gotten over the last few years. I've passed exams from VMware, from Google, from Cisco. Uh, more recently, I've been knocking out some AWS certs, and there's even more that I don't have listed here. And some of these exams required multiple tests. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is a little bit of research. Don't jump right into the very first course that you find. In order to do this efficiently, we wanna make sure that we're only using the best resources for whatever the certification you're going after is, okay? And so give yourself a time limit here. Do not spend more than four days in the research phase. If you find yourself a week into the research phase, you just need to schedule the exam and move on. You've spent way too much time analyzing the situation. I usually search Reddit, YouTube, LinkedIn. I'll ask some friends and usually I'll try to identify a trend. Hey, take this course by this person on, on Udemy. So try to find what other people are saying are the best study resources. I personally prefer video resources. I'm an auditory learner. I like to see things and I like to have diagrams explained. So I really like videos, but books are great as well. And so know, know what learning style jives best with you. Personally, I'm loving Udemy courses lately. They're generally pretty cheap and they have a great rating system so you can basically know if it's a good course or not beforehand. But the important thing is selecting a proven resource that people vouch for who have actually passed this exam. Next is the prep phase. This is another short phase. This is where you wanna buy that book. After you've bought the book or the video series that you prefer, you want to tell people that you're going to take this exam. The reason you wanna tell people is you want to put yourself under pressure to get this certification fast. And honestly, I want you to be embarrassed if you don't get the certification. I want you to tell your mom, tell your girlfriend, tell your social networks that you're gonna take the certification. Hold yourself accountable. What's the worst case is you don't get it and everybody forgets and it's not a big deal. But for me, this helps in the back of my mind uh, keep myself motivated, which is quite frankly, most of the battle in these certifications. It's not a, a battle of wits or of knowledge. It is really uh, you figuring out how to keep yourself motivated to study. And then finally, before you even crack open a book or watch a video, you schedule the exam, okay? I don't want there just to be a social pressure from you telling people, but I want you to have skin in the game. Certifications are extremely cheap, super cost effective. If you think a cert is expensive, go get a college degree and then talk to me about expensive. Certs are one of the cheapest ways that you can move your career forward. So schedule the exam for the 100, 200, $300 that it takes. And what that's gonna do is put an artificial time limit on yourself. Listen. These exam websites, Pearson View is the one I've tended to use. They always let you reschedule the exam. You can always push it out or even pull it back in if you feel like you're ready sooner or later, but you need to schedule the exam. It is going to force you to get off your ass so that you can move into the next phase of this process, which is where all the important work is really happening. And that is the doing phase, okay? This is where you're studying and we're gonna try to study as efficiently as possible. It's kind of a top-down approach where you start broad, you get a high level overview, and then you start digging down deeper into the individual subjects that you may not be uh, familiar with. So the very first thing that you're gonna wanna do, binge the book or the videos that you bought. Whether you chose a video course or the books though, try to finish it in two to three weeks. Be ambitious here. You're gonna wanna spend a couple hours a day, maybe five days a week doing this to get through the content once. The goal is not for you to know everything by the end of the course. The goal is for you to get a high level overview of everything in a really short period of time. And then the next steps are what's gonna really 
dig it into your brain so that way you can pass the test. I, when I watch video courses, by the way, I've trained myself. I used to only be able to watch videos on 1x speed. Now I will watch videos on 1.5 or 2x speed, depending on how fast the speaker talks naturally. I would suggest you do that as well. We're trying to save time here. If you're not used to watching videos on a high speed, your brain will adjust. Just do it slowly, like go to one and then 1.25 and then 1.5. You need to make sure you're able to comprehend what it's saying. If it's so fast, you can't hop comprehend it, slow it back. But over the course of like a 20 hour video series, if you're watching it at 1.5 speed, you save yourself five hours that you can hang out with your kids. You can play your musical instruments. You can watch Netflix, whatever you like to do. Then after you've gotten through it once, and this is gonna take you a few weeks, you wanna review the supplemental material weekly until you sit the exam. So whether you schedule the exam two or four months out, you're gonna wanna review weekly. So that way the stuff that you learned and did sink in during the video series or reading the book, you're not forgetting, but also you're identifying the things that are fuzzy. What you'll find is as you're reviewing the supplemental material, there's gonna be some things you're very familiar with and some things you're less familiar with. That's good, okay? Because you'll know, okay, these ones I kind of get. Um, an example for me on this is like AWS. I kind of understood S3 already. I didn't spend a lot of time on that, but I didn't understand a lot of other file storage technology that I knew when I was reviewing the supplements because I, I would be like, oh, I don't recognize that term or that what, what that means. And that would help me identify what else I needed to kind of dig into. But the final step is to take practice test. And this one is where you're gonna be able to save yourself weeks and sometimes months. Practice tests are very targeted and they're gonna tell you exactly what you don't know if you find good practice test resources. I use a site called WizLabs, but there's a lot of great uh, practice test sites out there. You wanna shoot for 80%. Do not try to get to 100% on these practice tests. Most certifications, passing is like a C or a C minus. If you get an A plus, you have successfully wasted about a month of your life. So shoot for a B, Bs get certs, Cs get certs, As get bragging rights, which aren't worth the whole hell of a lot. Also throughout this process, take digital notes, okay? I personally use an app called Notion. It's a free note-taking app. And what I like about it is it syncs across all my devices. And what this allows me to do is take notes on my laptop while I'm watching the video series, but also I can have those notes on like my iPad. Whenever I'm uh, maybe away from my computer, I can also have them on the phone because then when I'm like waiting in line for something, or maybe I'm on the train going somewhere or on a plane, I can be flipping through my notes. I think that a notebook, note-taking system, it works for some people, but for me, it, I, a, it's harder to read my own handwriting, but also the fact that it's a little less mobile and I have to lug around a book makes me read them less. And that's really it. If you've gone through these steps and you're passing the practice tests at about an 80% ratio, you're probably ready to take your exam. These companies are incentivized for you to pass. They need trained people that have the credential. They also, frankly, a lot of them make money off of selling certification tests and training. And so know that going in, go ahead and follow these steps find some good resources, schedule your certification test. If you enjoyed the content, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. You can gently tap the subscribe button to do that. Uh, until next time, happy studying, happy technology, happy certifications, and take it easy. Bye.